uh, leadership and defend the, this local body if you're opera, if you're a person that's a candidate for the spirit to move. Right. And mm -hmm. you know you gotta be, you gotta be used. You know. And so um, when we when we correct you, um, when we bring it to your attention, and there there has been times when we've had to do that, then. The spirit of truth, when it comes in, with the spirit of mercy, God will, he will literally, he'll cleanse a person, he'll wash a person, and he'll forgive that situation if you receive it properly. It's right. very, very important. But oftentimes, a true Jezebel spirit, because it seeks control, is very obstinate. It does not want correction, mm -hmm. and it will really, literally, it always seek to defend its actions. Yes. That's when you know you're in trouble. If you don't receive it, if somebody brings it to your attention and you don't receive it with humility and readiness to change, yes. you got a major problem on your hand and you need, you need, you need deliverance. So we, we just want to want to make sure that that's understood. And the other thing that I'm going to talk about real quick that's very practical, and I noticed that there's a few people, I'm not going to call names, but there's a few people who are very, they have mastered this, I'm very well aware of it, but concerning the opposite sex, when we greet one another, I think there's such a wonderful uh, community um, that God is building among us as believers. But we have to make sure that we're not um, seeking that male attention as women who have holes in our lives. We're making sure that we're not seeking by way of and using the hug and the holy kiss as a way to get a little, you know, touch. <laughs> we have to be really careful. And I just have to put it out there because Amen. it's real and this is what we do and we think nobody knows. It's undercover. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Jezebel is always undercover. Gerald's a spider coming down. Ooh, Lord. Okay. And so, and, so and, uh, and also vice versa. There have been men and I'm not going to use the terminology because I don't think it's appropriate, but there was a man that came into our congregation um, years ago, and we, we all discerned the leadership, we all discerned that uh, this man had improper motives. And you guys don't watch a spider, you all going to see what God is saying right now. Let's stay connected, let's stay connected. This man, the, we identified this man, he had an issue, and literally, we there was a terminology that they start calling this man because he stayed for a little while, but he literally came in and he was there with the impure, improper motives to try to snare someone, a female, and we prayed him out, okay? So a lot of times when so-and-so is here and then they're gone, it's because we prayed him out. Amen. I'm just going to be honest with you. Because if we see it and that person's not open for correction, because the first thing that you do, you have to go to a brother if he be overtaken. And you have to you have to let them know. You got a problem here. And then if they don't receive it, you take two more and go and address it again. Then when they don't receive, then you take them before the church. And then when they don't want to change, guess what happens? God's going to move them. Because God's not going to let anything interfere with his business. This is a very, very serious hour. Amen. One of the things that it, it really bring out for just just us and, and, and the body of Christ is not be so easily offended. Um, the greatest thing that we can do is receive correction. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't receive correction, then we open up ourselves for that enemy to move in and begin to take control of, over us. So we have to be real careful of that spirit and how he would enter in. And, and he also enter in through areas of, of weakness. You know, say be strong in the Lord. Yes. Amen. We got to be strong. It's time out for weakness. We got to be strong. Not saying that we don't ever be, you know, we have our moments. I mean, we have our moments. All of us do. But we should have that those moments in the presence of God. Yes, and yes. That weeping should take place in the presence of God. But when we go out, we need to go out and be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. We need to go out with the whole armor of God mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. You can't come out not with your armor on. You got to have on that whole armor of God when you come out. Other than that, you easily pray for that spirit to enter in and take control of you. You know, and so that attention giving. You know, always sad, always sorrowful. You have to watch that. To watch it. Have to watch that. I mean, that's what the word's saying. You know, we want to follow what the word says. We want to be alert to those spirits on every hand. Amen. Yeah. Anyone else?
yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because um, there's just so much in our um, culture, in our family, you know, there's so much around us that can infiltrate yeah. that spirit. You know what I'm saying? So you almost have to, to go back to the Lord and be like, God, search me. You know yes. And please reveal to me if there's been any way that there can be interest, whether it's through that self-help, mm -hmm. psychology stuff, because that stuff is everywhere. Everywhere. Um, whether it's through, a, you know, a religious spirit, whether mm -hmm. it's through, you know, strong women in your family, mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, there's different doors that that can come in, but you really have to to have some time in the presence of God, and I just would urge everyone to do that. Yes. You know? Just take some time and be like, God, search me. Yes. Because, yes. of course, none of us wants to be a vessel for that spirit. You know, right. we want to be clean vessels. We want to be um, that, what he talked about at the end, where that river is constantly yes. flowing. Yes. So anytime anybody comes to me, they they know they can get some fresh water. Yes. You know what I mean? Come on um, that's what we want to be. So I just would encourage everybody just to, to check in with the Holy Spirit. Ask them to search us. And like you said, we're not giving ourselves to people. You know, as we ministering, as we growing up, as a body, as we ministering, we not we giving them Jesus. We're not giving them ourselves. We're not drawing them into Amen. us. We're not having them dependent on us. We lead them directly uh, to the Lord. That's what we need to do. He was my guys. I'm like, no, one day I ain't gonna be there. Y'all better have Jesus. Amen. So that's what we want to make sure that we lead everyone to Christ. Their focus. It's Christ. Yes. That's the main yes. thing that we have to do. Amen. And like you say, it is good because I had a chance to really, I just admonish everyone to go and just go through mm -hmm. and read it because I had the opportunity to read it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was on the wrong chapter, but <laughs> praise <laughs> the Lord, I got yeah. it now. I was like, whoa, this chapter. But, uh, you know, so let's have an opportunity to really go back and, and really uh, see, like she said earlier, if there's anything in us, if the enemy can come in and use us, but the main thing I want us to remember is this. That spirit never say may I. Mm -hmm. See, let's kill the spirit. Mm -hmm. It never say may I. We be thinking that people should, well, why did she do this? Or why did he do that? Mm -hmm. It was a spirit. Mm -hmm. And when that spirit get in you, that spirit literally control you and then drop you like a dish rag. Who would want to go out and ruin their life and ruin their reputation? Mm -hmm. Who would want to do that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so God wants us, that's another level that God wants us to be sensitive so that we can know how to pray and we can know right, how to right, deal right, with that right, spirit. Right, right, right. You know, we can pray and we can deal with that spirit. You know what I'm saying? But we pray for that person to be restored back to God. Let's pray that it's, it's no help for that person. There's no hope for that person. Even when I look at Christian media, I'm praying for her. You know, God, let this time that she going away, let this time that he going away, let this be a time of true deliverance. Let this be a time that you're not, you know, surrounded with so much political and work and everything that they can truly take this as a sabbatical to hear from you so that they can go forth and make a difference. Amen? Mm -hmm. yes. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Amen. This message is really good today. I really enjoyed it. Uh, actually, you, a lot of times you have heard the word over and over again, but it's just, it's good to be, for the word to be brought back to remembrance. It's probably a good thing for you to say.